Sub versus dub. The light versus the dark. This century's old battle wages on who will emerge victorious. Can we even have a victor? Let's talk about it today on Unpopular Opinion. So it looks to me like the unpopular opinion here is that dubs are actually better than subs. So let's start off with this most likely the main driving point behind that argument. We don't speak Japanese! So for many viewers, hearing the dialogue in their native language makes it easier to immerse themselves in the media and get a sense of familiarity with the story and characters that could possibly be much harder to obtain while trying to hear dialogue in a completely foreign language while also reading subs. For some, it may make what they are watching more enjoyable, since they may find the Japanese tonal inflections a bit jarring, especially if they don't frequent watching anime. Dubs also make it easier for fans to quote their favorite lines and show off their fandom. Like, just imagine a world where we couldn't quote, I am the prince of all Saiyans once again! Sure, you could pick up on it by just reading the subtitles, but without the actual dub, the reference would fall a little flat, wouldn't it? Now being able to recognize voice actors who may have brought some of your other favorite characters to life is also another reason for the love of dubs. This is all subjective of course, but there are also some instances where the dubbed version of an anime is considered superior to the sub by many. And let's be real, in some of these cases the voice talents are legendary and give it their all when performing. For example, Chris Sabat. Not to mention, dubs can make or break the success of a show since they have a greater reach and more avenues of distribution. And if it weren't for dubs of certain shows, we would have never learned of their existence. Now on the other side of this argument, subs have their own advantages and hold their own significance. For one, subs allow for a much more accurate translation of dialogue, which tends to lead to a better understanding of plot points character relationships, and jokes not lost in translation. Now while on the point of jokes, you will even be treated to jokes that only hold significance in Japanese culture, which is cool because you can learn something new if you take the time to do a little cultural research. The voice actors are handpicked by the actual directors of said shows, so for some viewers that is super important because it means that the original, ver the original vision is being upheld. Now an example of this is Dragon Ball Z. In the dub, Goku sounds more masculine and comes off as a playful, lighthearted father. In its original format, Goku sounds more childlike, which is a direct representation of his actual personality. And even the translated dialogue lends more to this childlike behavior as it's intended. Now, while also on the topic of the voice acting, for the most part, it can be said that the Japanese actors exert more emotion and passion into scenes and can bring a level of eccentricity that the dubs cannot match, which can make or break important scenes. Another major benefit of subs, for many viewers, is watching the anime in its uncensored format. Most of the time, in conjunction with a dub, comes needless censorship, stripping down the intended spirit of the show. This censorship comes in the form of completely changing character personalities, altering plot points, and in some cases, changing the damn animation. Now for purists, these changes are just too significant to compromise. So what is my opinion? Now while I am definitely team sub all the way, I won't say that all dubs are bad. Some dubs are fantastic like Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo and DBZ, which holds a special place in my heart because it's what I grew up on. Some are downright awful in my opinion like Kill la Kill and Naruto, and some fall in between like the My Hero Academia dub, which does a pretty good job of nailing all the voices in my opinion, except the most important voices, All Might, Deku, and Mineta, who is the main comic relief. Now of course this is going to come down to personal preference, but I do think that it's a good thing that we have the options to digest this media in the way that we find appropriate for our own tastes. Now as long as you enjoy it, who the hell cares, right? But how do you guys feel? Are you guys team dub or team sub? I definitely want to hear from all of you guys. I know for a fact this is going to open a shitstorm in the comments, but y'all be nice. Don't attack each other. 
everybody has the freedom to watch and enjoy shows as they please. I just wanted to create a good dialogue around this. So looking forward to hearing from you guys, definitely for sure, for sure. Drop me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this episode of Unpopular Opinion. And make sure to follow me on my socials at your boy Roshi, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And join my Discord. The link to that is down below in the description. As well as the link to my merch store is down below in the description as well. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys tonight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, like I said. And I'll catch you on the next episode of Unpopular Opinion.